Hey guys, what's up? Um, I am here today with a review of the uh, 75041 Vulture Droid from 2014. It has 205 pieces in stages 7 to 12. So, um, I uh, got a little surprised by this. I was not expecting this. Uh, to come in the mail today. I was actually expecting to get it for Christmas, but a little surprised by my si sister, so thank you for that. Um, I've been wanting this set for about a month, and yeah, it finally came, so let's open the box and let's uh, see what's inside. Okay, so I just opened up the box. Uh, as you can see. So inside it comes with uh, two bags and um, unfortunately all of the detailing is stickers but it's it's fine. This set is really cool anyways. So uh, yeah um, I'll be back in a bit when I'm done with the set. Again this set is from 2014. So uh, yeah let's get let's get on with the building. Okay guys, so I just finished the set. It was a pretty fun building process. I mean, I can't see that there say that there are any particularly outstanding building um, techniques, but that doesn't mean that they were bad. It just means that there was nothing like super cool about them. This is pretty bad lighting. I'm gonna flip it over. So here you get a good look at um, all three of our minifigures, as well as the main guy. So, um, so first up, we have the Nemoidian Warrior, um, a really cool minifigure, um, he's very detailed, as you can see right here, his eyes also have a golden tint to them, here, let me take off his helmet so you can get a better view of that, um, if it will focus, please, Please focus. Right in front of the camera. Please focus. Okay, nope. So, as you can see, uh, it has a gold tint to it. And so, that's a really cool part about him. Um, he does have some back printing. It's basically just his, like, chest piece that he has in the front. All in all, a really cool minifigure. He's exclusive to the set. And although he's a kind of weird fit-in, he's still pretty cool. And he, you can technically call him a part of your droid army. Next up, we have the Buzz Droid. Um, not particular, or not particularly exclusive to this set, but still a uh, fitting add-in. And uh, one of the main shine like things that struck me while I was building this figure is there's a weird like gun piece, I guess you could say, underneath the, uh, sorry about the lighting, by the way, I just can't, I'm, I'm, right now I don't really have, like, overhead lights, but for now, here, there, that's a better view, so, um, it's a bit of, like, a weird gun inside of the piece, although it, I'm not, I'm sure it's not new, I mean, because, you know, 2020, but still a weird looking piece, also, these two, like, round top parts, another thing that struck me was that, like, recently in 2020, the R2-D2, like, printing has been really offset and uneven at the top. And so, for them to, uh, back then do it, like, this good and have it perf be to be perfectly aligned, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, good job. Um, up next we have the pilot battle droid. Um, nothing really unique about this minifigure. We've seen in um, we've seen him in about like a thousand other sets. Um, if you are brand new to Lego Star Wars though, which I highly doubt, but if you are, he has a blue printed torso with a little bit of that tannish yellowish stuff shining through at the top, and he comes with a little blaster pistol. Now what you've all been waiting for, the big baddie of the set, 
the Vulture Droid. And, um, in Emidar Productions' video, um, Worst of Verse 2014, shout out to Emidar Productions, um, he, he says that this is, like, the worst set of the year, and I completely disagree. I think that this is a really cool set. It's obviously not the best set of the year, but it's still cool. Um, he's complained that it's too bulky, but, I mean, that's, like, basically the most accurate that you can get. And another one of his complaints is that, like, there's a little area for your vulture droid, or a, a little area for your, like, pilot droid to sit in, which is a valid, valid complaint, because, like, it's a droid, it's not piloted by a different droid, but whatever. Um, I guess it's, like, a good thing for kids to use their pilot droid for, because they couldn't just have two minifigures in the set. So, um, yeah, so you can, like, you can move his entire body around. Um, you can also move his wings around, and all in all, it's a really good set. Um... I don't think it's too big, it's pretty accurate, and you can, like, put it into flight mode and have it fly through the air, so, like, that's pretty fun for kids, I mean, well, who am I kidding, I am a kid, but, um, so, yeah, um, this is, like, you could swoosh him around in the air, but, yeah, so, all in all, a really good set, and, uh, yeah, so, it comes with three, like, two, um, not really exclusive minifigures, and then one, like, basically driving point, oops, knock that off, basically driving point for the set, which is the Nemoidian Guard, with really good detailing, no arm prints, prints, but that was, like, 2014, I mean, that's not even regular right now, but that would have been super cool to get arm prints for him. So, uh, yeah, um, on a scale from 1 to 10, I would rate this set a 9. My, really, my only complaint is that it didn't come, well, I mean, I was gonna say it didn't come with a Jedi, but, I mean, that doesn't really make sense to put it in. I guess my one complaint is that they made, like, a cockpit area for the droid, which just is not very accurate to the movie or anything like that at all. But, yeah, so, let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.